Hey, Brother Lonnie. Hey, Miss Sash. I see you got that Thug 7 cover up. Thank you. Thank you for the love and support. Have you read Golden Hustler 2 yet, Miss Sash? Yes, yeah, so tonight, y'all, I'm going to be interviewing my newest celebrity author, MC Shaky. So that's what's getting ready to go down very shortly. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, wow, yeah, MC Shaky actually is on. Let me write that down. I got to ask her about that. She's on her way to prison. All right. Hey, what's happening, everybody? What's going on? Who has read Golden Hustler 2? I know at least there's 20 people on here. Some, At least one person has read Golden Hustler 2. MC Shaky, I sent you the request. Where are you? Okay, view request here. And here it comes, MC Shaky. Let's see how this works. Bear with me. I'm coming. Accept. I'm getting the hang of this. I hit a set again. Nothing happened. Yes. Yes. Hey, what's going on? MC Shaky. What is going on? Hey, Miss Clark. How are you doing? Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to Welcome. you. Welcome. I'm getting drunk, girl. You what are you doing? Drunk? We should have a very good conversation. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I am Wahida Clark, the official queen of Sweet Lit, and I am honored to have the one and only MC Shaky live. Now, check this out. How I came across MC Shaky, you know, from being on Instagram, being on Instagram, you know, you're taking courses. They say, do this, do that, do the other. And every time I noticed this person, every time he would go, this big black brother, every time he would go live, everybody be on there. So I'm like, what, who, is, who is MC Shaky? <laughs> so one day I clicked on there, on his live, and um, was, was got me some laughs, of course. But uh, I think you have recognized me. You said you have read my books. I think that's how it started. Am I correct? That's is correct. That's how it started? Yep. So um, from there, we... we uh, we did something with one of his books, something like, like some promo or something, but we always knew what he felt in his heart. He was determined that he was going to do something with me. And now, years later, here we are. So that's my story. That's how I came across MC Shaky. So with that said, thank you for being here. And uh, before I ask you who is MC Shaky, because other than that, I just know Shaky from the lives, and uh, she had wrote this book, and she was a fan of mine, um, and that's all I know. So tonight, that's what this is about. Who is MC Shaky? Uh, also about that dope book cover. Please put drop some drop some fire emojis in the chat if you are feeling that book cover. Prison play pen by yours truly, MC Shaky, y'all. Who is feeling that cover? Drop some fire. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> is that cover dope or what? That cover is everything, girl. But more so than the cover is the story. That's why the story is so dope. MC Shaky got a story for y'all. Prison playpen. Like I said in my in, in my post that y'all y'all not ready for it. But the story is so dope. The cover. There it is. There it is. That's right, dope. That's right. I see the fire emoji. Drop them fire emoji. Crystal Paris, I see y'all. I see y'all. That cover is dope. That's what I'm talking about. So, yes. So, dope cover for a dope story. And like I say, you guys are not ready for it. So, we are excited for the collaboration. Real quick, let me tell you um, what we do. Um, we, we, we just, you know, everybody's publishing and coaching, publishing, write a book. So we just wanted to be different. We just wanted to do something fun. We wanted to build some relationship capital. So we, we just happened to grab a couple of celebrities and say, look, we like what y'all doing. We like your hustle. And that's why I like MC Shaky. MC Shaky is a hustler. We like your hustle. 
and we want to take a book and do something big with it. So we got coming up some celebrities, y'all. We got Easy Mo B, Grammy legend producer. We got Big 50, her movie's on BET, Remy Ma play her. Anna Christina, her movie was on Lifetime, The Soccer Mom. We got MC Shaky, the celebrity influencer and media professional. We got King Sit, employing the next generation of builders. We got Karen Joy and Mr. Cheeks, Diary of a Pimp's Wife. So we have a bunch of celebrity projects coming out. Uh, this is new to us. We just want to do it differently. We want to do bigger and better than everybody. So that is why we signed Shaky, because Shaky is a mover and a shaker, pun intended. Now, please, <laughs> MC Shaky, tell me, who is, and tell us, especially me, who is MC Shaky, please? Girl, I, okay. Um, I, I, I have to be a Jane of all trades, a Jack of all trades. It don't matter. He, she, it doesn't matter. Um, but I think that when, to, just to sum up who I am, I am really just a go-getter. I'm a person that is just going to get it. Like, it's got to be gotten in one way or another. It's like, you know, it's it's like you know I've been I've done a little I've done TV I've done uh, acting stage plays I've done music I have done writing I have done fraud I have stole I have done I did everything is to kill people like that's the only thing that I have right. like that's the one thing Hustle. that I probably have. Can ultimate, I curse? The uh, ultimate uh, hustler. That's what you said. You just the ultimate hustler by blood, <laughs> not relations. <laughs> The golden hustler, I'm the black ass hustler. I guess I'm the I'm, can I curse a little? Yes, I'm the black hustler. Cause basically, I'm just I just have to, it's like, I don't know. I'm just I just have a go-getter mentality. It's like I feel like oh. that blogging, promotions, pitching. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you. So what do you do for business? What do you do for business? You um I definitely uh by nature blog, I was I started out huh? Oh, I'm sorry, you said blogger. What do you do for business? You are a blogger. You are a, t tell us that. What does MC Shaky do for business to make money, to earn income that you're branding yourself by? What do you do, Shaky? Oh, um, I guess a blogging found me because I always was a nosy, messy gay person. And so um, kind of like when I, like just seeing what bloggers do or just being nosy and messy at the same time, it kind of just almost fit. And it's how I got into the blog sphere. Um, I definitely was a person that could <laughs> articulate stuff. And so, for me, it was just like I, I was able to just kind of like put my self on it. I was initially just in I, I, my first passion and my first love is always music, New Orleans bounce music. Uh, and that's definitely yeah. always near and dear to my heart. And it's never going to leave. It's just been there. Um, You're from New Orleans, born and raised. That's your yep. town. Yes, I'm from the Seven Ward, Paris Avenue. Shout out to the, yeah, everybody. Uh, so I'm from New Orleans, downtown. Uh, born raised we moved to the country when i was a teenager and i got a little experience with that and then uh but for the most part i've lived in new orleans all my life but and you're an author you left out author you are a author. author yes this is it uh, shaky sent me other than prison playpen that's dropping when is that's what we say prison i'm not sure of, we got we haven't listen we like to plan and promote so we have prison playpen. We wasn't able to give it a drop date because now we have to rush it because Shaky, what's get ready to happen to you soon, Shaky, while we got to go ahead and do our promo, hustle hard, get everything together, promo to make a big, big giant splash because you are going where and when. All right. So um, in 2018, I committed a crime. Uh, I stole a quarter million dollars. Um, not proud of that. A definitely a mistake, something uh, I regret. I was in a situation, uh, and I took advantage of a situation. Uh, it's been well documented. Um, and uh, the feds finally indicted me. They were running out of time to indict me. They indicted me in the earlier this year. Uh, my case was the first case in the Eastern District this whole year. My case number is one. Uh, and I was recently sentenced on Tuesday. That's why I'm drunk. I've been drunk since Tuesday. I was sentenced Tuesday. Yeah, he said he must be drunk because you're not. He said they said you're not answering the question. Shaky must be drunk. What's the what, what, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought she said what I. She said I, I'm going. I'm going to. I saw, and so I was indicted Tuesday. Oh no, I was sentenced Tuesday to 70 months in federal prison. Gotcha. No, not 25 million, a quarter of a million. If it was 25 million child, it wouldn't have been no 70 months. <laughs> it would have been 700 months. Okay, so um, so you so you got to turn yourself in when? 
Um, I haven't been designated yet, but Wait. 30 days after I get designated. So next month, basically. No shade. Go. It's going to be sometime next month. Okay. That takes me to my next point. You, like you just said, you are a hustler. You, you, you came to us. You said, I got this book project. Let's rock and roll. I didn't know about you going to the, having to, to turn yourself in. So how are we going to rock this out fast and with a lot of, with a big bang? We talk about Prison Playpen by MC Shaky with TT on the cover. Y'all, come on. Now, how, if, if we don't kill this, go ahead and slap us and put us out of business. Y'all see that cover right there? Prison Playpen, TT on the cover, to bear in the background, Shaky. How are we going to rock this out? You got to turn yourself in. How are you going to rock this out and you have to turn yourself in? I want people to see it. I've never been a person that shy away from my truth. And I want people to see the process. I want people to see what's going on as far as me preparing to go to prison. Um, I, the, the concept that, of the book so That's how you plan on selling books. We want to sell a lot of books. You going to prison. We got to sell a lot of books. Yes. What's the game plan? The, Being the, out there, what's the game plan, y'all? The Talk game plan is to get people involved, get people involved. Like, so I want people to see what is this, what's going on. Like, as far as what prison, what prison playpen is, it's, it's, it tells us what's going on inside there. People want to know this thing. People want to feel like, like, there's a place a lot of people never going to go and yeah. never going to see in their life. And this, this is a chance to see from oh, somebody who y'all know could tell y'all what's going on inside here. So y'all definitely got to get I'm going to ask you about the story. Hold that. In my bed. We got to get back to the story. But... My first prison, I remember when I was in Alderson and mm -hmm. the book Convicts Candy was sent inside the prison. And when I picked up that book and started reading, I like to faint it. That's mm -hmm. what this book is right here, y'all. Like Shaky just said, this world right here, you would never get, most people would not get a look in this world right here. Shaky talk. Let me let Shaky talk. Tip Tiffy Pop said, let Shaky talk. Go ahead and talk, Shaky. <laughs> She's talking. Okay, no, but I'm just I saying, like, when, when it comes down to it, prison is, is you can see prison, and we can see, and everybody knows somebody been to prison, everybody does, but prison through the eyes of somebody who is LGBTQ+, and then to know from that aspect and from that perspective is a whole different world. I think that even when you have a lot of straight people that talk about prison, you have a lot of people that go to prison and, and this and that. But a lot of, we hear all these things about prison, don't drop the soap and all this other stuff like that. This book talks about what it is from our perspective, from the perspective that's a, a, a whole underserved perspective. Um, I did a series on YouTube called Prison Stories, 45 videos. And this is what, the, pe the whole time people, everybody said, put, write the book, write the book, write the book. Well, here you go, right here. Y'all want to know what goes on from our perspective, what we see when it's y'all baby dad is knocking on our bunks at night and uh, this dude here and why this dude mess around and what this, you want to see that. Uh, the character in the book, Summer, she is very- That's she, right, Miss Kate. Go ahead. She's not, she's not me, but she is, she, she's who I can embody and, and personify. And it's like, it's like, you can tell I mean, the stuff that she does and the, the things, the moves that she makes is not foreign to what I've been through myself. And so it's that true to life. It's that gritty. It's that much of a, of a story that's in depth about who she, who she is and what she's going through and what she's seeing as a trans person entering a man's prison. Um, yeah. The characterizations as far as some of the other LGBTQ people in the book, and you find out what it is. Why are they look at us as women in there? What it is, is this? You get to see and, and get that authenticity. <laughs> So, this, okay, hold that thought. Everybody listen. What Shaky just said. So you're saying the book is that the authentic authenticity. They getting the real deal. There's just not no fiction wrote up. You giving them the real deal, holy fit. Right. It's a fictionalized accounting. Of course, Summer is a fictionalized character. But it's literally taken from the pages of what I've witnessed, what I've seen. That's the grit, the real in that. I think it's, and you, you can't get that I'll, you can't get that from nobody else. That's what this book is different. That's why this book is something. That's why y'all have to get this book. And that's why y'all not only have to get it, but y'all got to tell your friends about it. You have to, you, this is something, and listen, and just me going to prison, this is a, this is a story that you, even if you know, you want to see this, you want to get into it, you want, I mean, you want to feel it, not just the characterization, Take but it. just the knowledge of what goes on. Yes, sir. So, so shaky. Oh my gosh. All right, so that, that story is, people's asking where to get it. Right now, you can get the pre-order on Amazon. We're just trying to get the promo together and our campaign together to, to, so Shaky can rock it out and sell us. You, you know, you need money. You need commissary money when you're sitting behind 
um, uh, the wall. Now, listen, yeah. you said yeah. you're, you are a celebrity influencer, social media person. Explain, explain that part, because that's what we're promoting you as. Talk to us about that, because people always want to know, they, everybody want to be big, a big social media star. Do you consider yourself a big social media star? Tell us that, sir. Okay, so um, you know, social media for me was like getting a duck to wall. Right. I love social media. I love live streaming. I love videos. I love going live. I love reading the girls. I'm very, I'm an opinionated person by nature, and so um, I also feel myself. I think I'm well versed. I think I'm well read, and so I always have an opinion about something. My two cents is going in it, and I think that uh, for me. Social media just kind of like for me, it, it just came. It wasn't. It was. It was something. It was work though. Just kind of developing and building uh, what it what it was for me for social media. But definitely, it was something that uh, I don't think I could even live without. It's kind of hard for me. Like it's the, the hardest problem that I've developed. Wow. I feel like such a relationship with the people that support me and the people that uh, I consider my family. It's not even funny. Like I really like I like I'm going like to me that's the part I'm gonna miss so much. But when it comes to social media, like. Uh, I've been reposted by the Shave Room, uh, the, uh, every blog site you can uh, imagine, uh, my take on stories, uh, when it came to um, a lot of stuff. I've had some very famous or infamous rivalries on social media, from Erica Mena to Kiki Wyatt wow. to Tamika Harris to uh, okay. uh, my okay. favorite W Super Saiyan Judy. Like we have literally, I've had some rivalries on social media with people uh, that kind of are infamous to say. Um, so social media for me uh, has always been something that like, it's just like, it's like another, it's kind of like another world, but it's something that I love so much. All right, well, okay. But since you're going on the inside, so your business is social media. So you're saying people pay you, they say, MC Shaky, I need to build my followers. I need to know what to brand myself on Instagram. That's what they pay you to do. With the, that, that's that's what you mean. Wait, say that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so the business, your business. So people pay you like you have marketing packages. They pay you to promote them on Instagram. They pay yeah. you to build their brand. They pay you to help them get followers. So that's what you do. Um. Yeah. So somebody can. Somebody can pay me to uh if they want to i have promotion packages uh if somebody wants to promote their business their brand their lines uh why, like the wines i mean the, it what, so social media is, is weird when it comes to that people i get like say for instance somebody comes to me that want is a rapper or something but my demographic is not rappers my demographic is more of women between a certain age group and it's just kind of like knowing who your people are so people do pay me to promote and stuff like that but it's all money and good money and i tell a lot of people like so a lot of times like listen i can't promote that because it's just not gonna be effective for you That's good. like you have to know you, you have to know who your demographic is you have to know who you're talking to and who the person you ask them to promote is talking to so um yeah. <laughs> Shake you tipsy. Hello, you're right, Candace. I am a little tipsy, but I've been <laughs> drunk since Tuesday, so that, that yeah, I, I think my we could attest that live out. <laughs> tipsy Pop said, "I ain't gonna lie, I like tipsy shaky." <laughs> question: What's your my, which which question, uh, Maisha Hendry? Good question. As Ch Cherish Stacks, let me see if we see something. But look, y'all, I'm excited about MC Shaky, uh, the book Prison Play Pen, and the reason why we're switching back and forth between books and business. Is because that's what we do. We are in the business of books. He signed up with my publishing company, my celebrity division, Wahida Clark Presents Innovative Publishing. We publish books. And somebody said, right, I'm going to have access to his live while he is in prison, y'all, coming on, yeah. giving messages from him. So follow me. Everybody that's on here is 400 of y'all. Make sure y'all follow me. And who keeps asking about a mod? I don't know how to do that, Queen Petty Block. I'm mod you, please. I don't even know how to do that. So we I'm learning. I'm not a. Uh, I, I'm learning. Uh, <laughs> Queen Petty Baraka. Okay. Uh, Maisha Hendricks. Big shout out to Maisha Hendricks, the daughter of the legendary Jimi Hendrix. That's who that is. Someone asked how will his page keep going. His sister and I will be popping in live every now and then with messages and talking about the book project and, uh, you know. I'm going to say this. I, I think that... Uh, oh, I see all these followers love you. That's right, because I will be going live. Go ahead, Shake. You say what you got to I say. I think you. that people underestimate the true essence of people that love you. And I have a support system. And so I have people that love me. And so when it comes to 
uh, my pages and intellectual properties and stuff like that. Um, I do have a family that's not just blood family, but family that's that that are a family that's gonna actually take care of that. Wahida Clark is definitely a member of that family for me. Um, I view her as my literary mother, to be honest with you. She doesn't know, but I mean, she saved my life. I'm, what started me to write this, I just ran out of her books to read. And I wasn't reading the other trash that them hoes was putting out. Excuse my language, but I wasn't reading that stuff. And so, I mean, like, it's not going to be, like, this is not, like, this is not permanent. This is not an ending. This is just right. a, a, a new beginning. And so while I'm gone, the people that I entrust with, with my life, but also this is going to be able to give y'all a lot of stuff when it comes to that. So y'all not going to be missing. Left, okay. You, you, you might be missing you reading a bitch, and that's cool. But what you won't miss is that the, the ability and the connectivity to not just me, but the work that we're doing. And so hope, this is, yeah. So that, now, Shaky, because Shaky, y'all, y'all going to have to stay supporting Shaky. He done built the brand. How many followers you have on Instagram and YouTube? Uh, 200,000 on Instagram, yeah. 75,000 on YouTube, 400,000 on Beagle. Is you, have, we met, have huh? we met your sister? Because that's a challenge to keeping all of that engagement. Like you said, no, nobody, like when I went to prison, they said, Wahida, they shut me down. They said, nobody's out here to run your business. So if you want to be able to keep everything popping while you're in prison, you get in the Hustler of the Year Award. You hear that nuance? Yeah, I don't do it now. People think, people, people don't, y'all think it's, half of the time the person is fighting for your life with me anyway. Like no What's Sip Nation? Tell me what's Sip what's Sip Nation. That's my that's my that's the gang. That's my people. That is the gang. That is the gotcha. people. Sip that Nation. is Sip Nation. That's okay. the family. What Sip Nation that mean, is Sip definitely Nation? the family. We are the Sippers. Gotcha. That's what it is. Gotcha. <laughs> Sip Nation. Um, well, we're, we're looking forward to it. T tell everybody, y'all, please follow me because I'm going to be going on Shaky's page. Y'all got to help me keep keep Shaky alive while he's in the joint. Shaky, tell me what real quick. How did you come across my books and what happened? Um, sitting in prison, we looking for stuff to read. That's I mean, we, it's, it's a pastime, and uh, the, your payback series came to, in my lap, and it was love at first sense. Just how you like, okay, because we, you know, I was the person. I mean, I'm a nerd for real, and so wow. like urban novels wasn't even my urban and street lit wasn't even my thing because I felt the plot lines was whack. And everybody, but I'm, and no shade to the people, I know they're probably some of your friends or something, but I just got to be truthful. A lot of that other stuff that they be writing is just not what it is. But just how you layered this plot and developed the plot and how this unfolded was like, okay, she a little different. You are the only one I follow. And that's big. They, like, you can say, oh, I don't follow none that. of them. I don't follow no Deja King and none of these other people. I don't even know who they are. But they, it's just not, and so if it's like, if I'm getting to this, I, the only person I could have worked with was Wahida Clark. So that's what, what led me to the third series. So, hold and, that thought. Somebody on my team pinned prison playpen. P prison playpen should have been pinned on, on my, uh, at the bottom, right? Shady you got to pin it, girl. It should have been pinned at the bottom. Pin <laughs> you got to pin it, though. You got to pin oh, it. Oh, I have to pin it. No, uh, they have access to my, um, they have access to it. No, girl, you got to pin it. When you're alive, you have to do that. Shoot. Okay, so see. <laughs> All right. I don't think so, I can yeah. When it comes down to it, um, so when I got a chance and I actually met you in person and it was like, listen, I got this book. I'm going back to prison. I've been to prison. I'm going back to prison. Um, they need to see this. And prison and prison playpen was just that. Uh, I sent it over to you. You said, okay, cool. You, and, 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 and there we have it. Shout out to Kwame uh, yeah. TT for being on the cover. Thank her so much. Uh, thank him so much. Um, and, and just thank you so much for the opportunity. That's like a big, big thing. It's like, like you have no idea what it means for me just to say i even even had a conversation with you like that just does a lot for me and so definitely when you'll be like because i'm a fan i am a so, fan like what, literally like i right? literally and then i mean and then now i'm on this golden hustler and like girl now i'm looking for the golden hustler three girl we'll see. <laughs> you, you finished part two yes ma'am i bring her with what me i'm in houston right now i'm traveling right now because i got a gig tonight girl don't you see how roy is on these I've been, been I tore to this book up, girl. It's a one nighter. And so definitely we <laughs> Yes. We need to we need to that bad boy in one night. Girl, what, what now you know you got the when is part three coming out? <laughs> That's the question. Thank you. Lex Beauty said Wahida is a different breed. Yes. Oh no, her book her books. Thank you is for so that thing right wherever you are. And then to know some of the other authors that you have. Coming out with a book by Big 50. 
uh, Chase. I mean, it's just so much that you're doing, and I respect your hustle so much. Like, I respect your hustle. We don't go to Hustle 1, and then we go to Hustle 2, and then go back to my favorite series, The Payback, then go to the third series. The third Ooh, series is long. You that's be, the formula. Wait, that's yeah. right. So they, people got to read Golden Hustler 1, then Golden right. Hustler 2, then right. do the playback, and then do the thugs. I'm going to tell people that's how Shaky said. That's, that's, that's how you, that's how you uh, partake of the Wahida Clark smorgasbord. In that order. Then oh. you got to get Uncle Yaya books, too, yes, because yes. those are those are Ooh. books about Ooh. real life insight. All my eccentric, nouveau black people, Erica Badu, Ooh. smoking weed, listening to, y'all get y'all some of that. Put some incense on, y'all gonna love the Uncle Yaya series. Uncle girl, Yaya, you don't even he know, talking girl. Grown, he talking grown man talk right now. Uncle right. Yaya, twenty first century man of wisdom. That's grown man talk. And um, we well, thank you everybody for coming in on the live prison playpen. Uh, we're gonna drop it. We'll know this week what day um, to make it available to everybody because we're gonna hustle and sell as many books as possible because MC Shaky has to take a quick vacation. Hopefully he'll be writing some more books. But let me mention um the kingdom. We are going to be we're going I'm, we're going to be we're going to reissue that. We're yeah. going to reissue that under Wahida Clark presents. That book, it's like look, and I'm not just saying it just to say because I ain't one to just when it comes to people writing street lit. Yes. That story there all, all I saw was the screen. And really, I see they copy our stuff. They, if, they ain't, if that's not already on somebody's uh, um, um, movie or show, you know, take the concept, it's going to be soon. So we got to hurry and get that out because all, as I was reading, all I saw was the visual. All I saw was the visual. I, I learned from the best. I emulated you. Mm -hmm. I emulated for real. Believe oh, that. You, you, was, you should get co-writing credit for that. And look, I'm all, and I'm busy, and I'm trying to read between doing important things, You're trying to get a couple of pages in. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. I definitely see my style, um, yeah. and I love it. And that's what the next generation is supposed to do. They're supposed to learn and take it to the next level. If we don't pass on the, the Jews and the gems, and if y'all don't learn from us and add on what y'all have, yeah. it's a waste of time. Definitely. Definitely. Okay? Well, thank you for joining me. Thank you um, for having me, sister. Thank you for everybody that came. Prison Playpen, go on Amazon right now. Hit the pre-order button. We the, link is in my, the link is in my bio, and if it's not, it's going to be a free Queen of Street Lit, but uh, we um, pre-order. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to be going live again. And we, we're just mapping this out. We, we're on a rush. We are right. on a rush to launch this project because MC Shaky got to go take care of some business. And that's the other thing we were supposed to talk about. How? Because I remember when I, I got sentenced, but the judge didn't even let me go home on bail. She said, Miss Clark, you got a long road ahead of you. You need to start doing, you're going to, you, not you need, you're going to start doing your time right now. I didn't have time to go home, get the kids straight, get the house straight, get the bills straight, get stuff lined up. It was a wrap. So that's the part. We have an organization, Prodigal Sons and Daughters, and that's one of the things that um, we teach and you prep yourself. Going to prison, you, you got to get your affairs in order and also go in with a goal. Don't just go in and waste time. You know how many how much time you got to do. Say, okay, at, by the time I get out in three years, I'm going to have accomplished this, that, and the other. Write six books or get a, a master's degree or, or something. Just don't go in there and waste time. So, Shaky, I can't wait to see what you're going to do Why you? because you're my, you have a brilliant mind. Thanks. I admire what you build. I encourage you to keep up your hustle. Um, you, you know, we just take something from nothing and we have to use it to, to survive. Definitely. Prodigal sons and daughters, not protocol, prodigal, like the prodigal son in the Bible. Prodigal sons and daughters. Yep. So I have a question real quick before sure, we go. Ahead. Ahead. Uh, so we, so we, uh, so the prison playpen is available to pre order. pre order right now, this minute, right now on Amazon, right uh, now. Yes. And so uh, when you uh, when you order and when you order, so when you order and if we adjust the date right. that it's coming out. Now, what's the date on there now? Do you see the twenty second of August? Okay, right. That date can be changed. Okay. That's why I said we have to strategize. We got to come up with our strategy. 
because when we released that sucker, we wanted to go viral. Right. And we the only have to my bio, y'all want to pre-order <laughs> right now. Say it again. If y'all want to pre-order Prison Playpen, the link is in my bio right now. Y'all hit the link. I'm telling you, won't be disappointed. I swear to God, it, it's like I guarantee you, you feel it on your money bank. That's just I'm putting that guarantee on that. Like you're gonna definitely feel it. Make, Look, was I lying? I said this. You ain't y'all ain't ready for this. Was I lying when I said that? No, definitely not. I was not lying. That's one thing. Juanita Clark is not a liar. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and we are. And, and yes. So the the prison play pen is available for pre order, and we will be re releasing the kingdom. The Kingdom 2 West Side on Wahida Clark Publishing, wclarkpublishing.com. Y'all go check it out. I promise y'all. Save that we, website. We're um, we going to put my little spin on Kingdom with just a little bit. Just need a little bit of a, a, a magic sprinkle over it. I need it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And definitely, y'all make sure y'all follow Ms. Clark. Keep up with the page. We'll definitely be working with y'all uh, as far as getting y'all that good contact when it comes about books and when it comes about. Uh, the literary stuff that we got going on uh, at uh, Wahida Clark, it's go like it's just y'all just have no idea. This is not this is gonna be a great thing and a great endeavor, and we definitely want y'all part of it. Definitely. And thank you. I, I see my mom. I see my Isha Hendricks in there. I saw Amika. I saw Nuance. I saw Chase. So I got a few moms. I'm, I'm we, we we learning. So big ups to everybody. What is the book for pre order? Prison Playpen. By MC Shaky. The Golden Hustler 2 is available right now. The Thug series is available right now. Um, the Payback series is available right now. Zed, I'm some black sci fi. Zed Amadeo. Uh, actually, uh, Chase Bowling. We got some black sci fi stuff. We got a lot of stuff there. Yes, the Vanguard series. Yes. <laughs> yes. Definitely. All right. So, peace and love, guys, and have a great one. Thank peace. you so much. All right. Love you so much. Okay, let's see how do I do this again so now I have to save this I forgot what to do I can't look hold on one second <laughs> it's hot in here <laughs>